I think it's bonjour. Bonjour? I thought it was bonjour. Didn't the professor say it was salut as well? Did he really? I thought he said it was bonjour. You know girls studying French. There are different ways of saying it. Well, I can't remember all of that for the exam. Guy studying French number two. That's too much. Tell me about it. Two weeks in and we're supposed to know two words for hello? I mean, the exam's in a week. I guess they don't know we've got like a bajillion other classes planned or, or maybe they just don't give a shit. And to top that off, there's some weird guy over there behind the tree that keeps on looking at us. I swear, if he doesn't stop, I'm gonna go kick his ass. Oh yes, Sergeant Porkbrain. So pleasant to see your arrival. Why don't you approach me so we can begin this little soiree? Blasted microphone! Why do these producers always make these technical mistakes? And why did this thing just appear in front of me when this is just a voiceover? It makes no sense. Guys, that in French number one. Did you see that just now? Yeah, that mic was a piece of shit. No, just before that. That guy over there standing by the tree looking at us. Really? I'm about to get the hell out of here if this guy doesn't leave us alone. I thought you said you'd quote, go kick his ass if he doesn't stop, unquote. It was a spur of the moment. The stress of the studying putting words in my mouth. It happens. Should I get campus security or something? I mean, it's gonna be difficult to study with people creeping around like that. It's kind of suspicious, really. Yeah. Hey, hey, dude, hey, that's, that's so wrong. not cool. What the oh heck, God, I wasn't where you going. See, that, that's what's wrong with the world. Sure people like that. that. I bet he I examined your performance from across the lake. I must say I'm pleasantly bewildered at how you assassinated the target. No remorse or regrets. I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just skip the phony appreciation talk and tell me where this Swedeus character is so I can go kill him, rescue my brother, not talk to him for another 30 years, go home, and then eat some leftover lo mein that is in the fridge. And now, my swine friend, let us revel in the prodigious moment of reflection to remember the commendable events that transpired. Son of a sow, would you speak an ounce of English for once? My patience is wearing thin. There was English. I even have the accent. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
there's nobody here. We have a smart ass on our hands. <laughs> well, you know what I meant. Possibly. But that still leaves you oblivious to what I was enunciating. Shut up, you British blockhead! Stop insulting my intelligence and making me look like a dumbass! Alright, alright. Perhaps I was a little facetious for imposing such insane assumptions upon you. No, maybe, maybe you're just a sad, pathetic, pitiful, insane sociopath with an affinity for the genus sus. Uh, translation, please! Although I do know what affinity means, so you must have said I love something. Wait! You're not aware of my pretzel addiction, are you? Wasn't I clear? I said you were an idiotic maniac who loves pigs. Oh, okay. For a second I thought, wait, what? Even though I obviously love my pig brethren, how dare you call me idiotic? <laughs> I find this mental roundabout to be quite enchanting. Oh, we'll see who's enchanting! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Remember, I'm the only hope to find your brother's kidnapper. And besides, pulling that trigger of yours will not only be your biggest mistake, but your last. You'd better be sure you want to go down this road with me. Because the seas will run red with your blood. The skies will weep for you. The angels will sing of your memory. While even uttering the name Pork Ryan will be punishable by death. And I'll promise that only after days of you begging me to end your miserable, pitiful existence that I might decide to end your fucking life. <laughs> and just what are you gonna do with that water cannon? Melt me like I'm the Wicked Witch of the West? You know, your insults keep getting worse and worse in these videos. Urgh, okay, fine! Just predictably retaliate by proving my skepticism wrong and convince me to listen to you. Gladly. Anywho, in a world where toy guns can be disguised as weapons, what makes you think that my water cannon is any less threatening? Uh, fair point. So would you really want to risk your life making a potentially naive decision? Alright, whatever. Now would you please give me info on Swadeus like you said? I did what you asked. Alright, you did kill Colonel Pork, did it most satisfactorily, and I'll tell you what, because you asked so politely, I will give you information on this Sudeus person, but you must be able to keep up with me, you must be agile and cunning, and then, after I've done testing you, perhaps I will give you the information that you need to Oh, for Wilbur's sake, stop with the bullshit! No worries, old chum, I'll just start with the pig shit. What? You stole my line from the first Sergeant Pork Ro- Oh, now you're just trying to screw with me. So, you get a little famished, are you, Mr. Pork Ryan? Oh, I think my ass muscles are aching. Oh, where the hell are we anyways? Whew. This place is none of your concern. And here I thought you were some figurous Vietnam veteran. How delusional I was. Oh, and here I thought you were a kind, helpful gentleman who would be willing to provide information to help a distressed individual. How delusional I was! At least, we are very close to the destination you are seeking. Seriously? Yes, yes. Your destination is right up here on the right. Now, what you're gonna do is you definitely wanna stay on the path as there's many dangers if you wander off. Now, I can't exactly stay here and lead you down everywhere because I have much to do. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, wait just a minute, Mr. Hasty Pants. Bloody hell. What now? Have a blasted colonoscopy at two o'clock. I... Wait, how old are you? I matured at a younger age than most of my peers. Now tell me what I want to know before you really piss me off. Uh, right, uh, anyways, uh, I just wanted to know who in the hell you were. You seem to know so much information, but you won't fully help a person who is desperate. Well, my pork chuck friend, that's information for me to be cognizant of and you to indefinitely diagnosticate. Never mind, J just do your little disappearing act and get out of here. 
with pleasure. Whoever wrote that guy's dialogue needs a cow prod stuck up their ass. Ignorance is never prepared for the thirst of revenge. But once you find out the truth, revenge is never prepared for the thirst of ignorance. You know, I can still feel your presence behind me. Curse you and your kidneys. Hey, are you by any chance to a dais? Just uh, pretend to be concerned with that that weird plant over there, and let's let's just ignore him, okay? Man, I'm gonna piss on my pepper spray too. Just, just just ignore him. You're no fun. You know, there's nothing but weeds over there. I can see right through your tricks. Now, do you happen to know where Swedeus is or not? I swear. If you don't get the hell away from us. I'm gonna shove something far more potent than coke up your nose. No, I will not help you find your dealers. I don't know who your dealers are. No, I'm not gonna help your sorry ass at all. My wife and I are just trying to enjoy a quiet walk on the trail. So if I were you, I'd go find some other sorry sap to feed off of for information. Unless you'd like me to deliver some brutal justice. Come on, girl who was walking on trail but was studying French earlier. Let's get the hell out of here. Right next to you, guy who's walking on trail who's studying French. Oh, and I just received a call from a 1970s porn star. They want their hair and mustache back. <laughs> Dealers. I'm who you're looking for, Sergeant. Turn the hand bone. Here's Swadeus. You really screwed me over in Vietnam, you know that? Oh, gee. You're still pissing and moaning about that. I had PTSD for years, man. Years! Do you have an idea how much it hurts to get shot inches from your genitals? It hurts like a mother! Yeah, but that pot-bellied pig looks so innocent! It was dead, poor cried. Dead! Didn't you realize? The Viet Cong to guerrilla tactics to the next level! Well, I didn't know a person could fit inside of a pig carcass like that. I was actually tripping balls. You were tripping balls? My damn balls nearly tripped out of my body, you son of a sow! Yeah, but look at you now! You're walking as straight as Porky Pig in a Speedo on a French runway. Sure, at the cost of years of trauma. Sure, the physical therapy helped, but I've been in and out of war since 1974, gulping down every pill in the book in between. Nightmares. Suicide attempts, spontaneous outbursts in public. I've been arrested for shouting, You'll never take my balls, you bastards! More times than you can even count. You got anything to say to that? <laughs> I, I can picture you doing that. You go to a local McDonald's, you ask for a Big Mac, she asks for cash or credit, you go, You'll never take my balls, you bastards! <laughs> I'm pissing myself laughing right now. <laughs> I'd see sweet the chocolate, Mr. Rind. Huh? The hell? Didn't you have an appointment be yet? Or was that your way of saying you had an affinity for vibrating toys? <laughs> Why, you deplorable little shit. Lower your blood pressure down a notch, tumultuous Terran. Old pork rind over here won't be such a wise ass when he finds out what happened to his brother. Let me guess. You sliced his balls off and killed him in an ironic turn of events, right? Heavens no. How dare you insinuate that refined gentlemen such as us could perform such a heinous act as cast Enough, Terran. Actually, no. We kept him alive and well. Ah, but you said kept in past tense. Which means he's kaput, isn't he? Well, what an amazing brain. This guy, he, he's just impressing me on an intellectual level. Damn it, Terran. Could you at least give me my money's worth by shutting up for one minute? Anyways, yeah. It's nice that you point that little detail out. Because we weren't the ones to kill him. Oh, great. Now I have to go on a wild goose chase to find out who killed my brother. If he is dead, like you said. Funny you should mention that. Because it was actually...
So, uh, was killing your own hired associate supposed to evoke a reaction out of me? Nah, I just want to try the whole villain killing their own henchman shtick, and this seemed close enough. Ah. Looks cool in the movies. I see. Plus, his fancy talk was getting on my nerves. Huh. Aim say ear, hey. Spare the pig Latin, pork rind. This isn't a moment of redemption or the Appalachian swine crusades of 1964 anymore. You and I have a score to settle. Then let's settle it. Tell me where my brother is so I don't have to stretch my trigger finger out. Ah, if it wasn't the gun that was used to kill your brother. It still looks phony as ever, but it packs quite a punch. <laughs> ah, impossible, evildoer. I've had this gun the entire time. <laughs> exactly. Exactly what? Oh, no. Forty years is a long time, comrade. Hard to remember a face that's changed over so many years. Though you never had the opportunity to keep in touch. What? 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 I, I just thought that that guy was a, 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 a person who made shitty internet videos and wore hipster glasses. No, no way that could be. It was your own ignorance that killed him. I mean, his name was Colonel Pork, for Wilbur's sake. That alone should have told you there was a connection between you two. You. You bastard. I mean, having your own pet piglet stolen by your own brother is certainly an act worth getting angry about for the rest of your life, isn't it? Oh, I would be, if I was five. But hey, he's been dead to you for a long time, right? Isn't it fitting he's literally dead now? I will mutilate your ass. Go ahead, shoot me like you did your brother. Have that on your conscience as well. Suffer like I did all those years ago. Go on, I dare you. A mega super quadruple pig dare ya. No! I won't! Glad you could see it my way, poor grind. Cause if not, I'd have to come back and haunt you. Wouldn't want that, would you? Would you? No. Instead, I want a fair fight. Wild boar versus wild boar. No weapons, just sheer brute force from our metaphorical tusks. Rawr! Well, when you put it that way, I wouldn't mind working out some of my frustration beating the bacon out of you. All right. Let's throw down. Sounds good, maggot. Better watch the tonic. Might come back to bite you. Oh, we'll see about that. This nonsense. What the hell are you doing? I thought you wanted a fair fight. Yeah, well, like my pig brethren, I have a tendency to play dirty. You made me kill my brother, and now it's time to exact my revenge. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't forget the haunted conscience, Doc. Remember, if you kill me, how will your mind live with the pain? Do I look like I care? I'm already a corrupt maniac with a body count. And besides, I already experienced enough disturbing shit in Nam and the Swine Crusades anyways. This is a mere thumbtack. 
in a field of railroad spikes. But wait, that was a random metaphor. And not a single damn was given by me. Because Sergeant Porkrine is my title, and roasting brother murderers with awkward dialogue is my style. Taking down villains that are vile and turning them into bile. Okay, Rudy Ray Moore. You gonna shoot me, or you gonna continue spouting off rhymes? Shoot you? Ah, not there. I bet you're tripping balls now! Ah, ah. Well, he's definitely smoked on the grill now. Uh, now to go home and eat some low mint. What the hell? Man, when the hell am I gonna make some friends instead of enemies for a change? When pigs fly. Well, there was this one time as a kid when I tried throwing the piglet off the balcony of our apartment. And it started flapping its legs rapidly. You know, kind of... Yeah, that actually worked. And here I thought it was just a shitty internet video. Pony perhaps. Thank <laughs> you.